Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to week 30 of our art class. And we are going to be introducing the concept of a silhouette. You say, silhouette. Excellent. Um, a silhouette is usually a black outline, right? The outer edge of an object, a person, a thing that is up against something of lighter value. So a very dark-like, shadow-like image against a lighter background. This happens because one side of that object is receiving the light, which means that the opposite side is not getting any of that light and therefore appears to look black. This painting right here is one of my pieces um, and it is a silhouette. It is <clears throat> in Pennsylvania and it is called Beach Lake. Uh, this is the location where I was and uh, it was just a bunch of trees um, next to a lake and in the foreground here there were some tall grasses and um, so as you can see by the colors of the sky it was either sun setting or sun rising. This happened to be actually at sunset time, so like dinner time, and the sun was going down, which meant that there was less light, okay? And so when there's less light, then all of the objects here appear to be black, even though we know trees are not black, right? They're green, okay? But because of the lighting being less, it creates that look of having everything be a black outline. And that, boys and girls, is what we call a silhouette. So if I use this lantern here, I can show you a little bit better. This side of my face is receiving the light, right? You can see that this part of my face is lighter. Is this part lighter? No, it's not it's not receiving any of that light. I am blocking this light. It can't travel around to this side of my face, right? So therefore, this would be a silhouette. It would be all blackened, okay? It's an interesting concept. Um, let's say this was a tree. This is the sun. This is the sun setting. Right here I have my tree this side of the tree is getting all of the light, right? Is this side getting any of that light? No, it's not. So this side right here would be the side that was blackened as the silhouette, okay? All right, I know it's a little tricky, but that is the best way that I could describe that, that idea to you, um, is that this part of the trees are not getting any of the sunlight. The sunlight is down here behind these trees. Okay, so that's just one example of a silhouette. And I thought that we could create our own silhouettes, right? Of anything that you want, basically. I have a couple of examples here. Here I have some buildings in the background, um, maybe it's Jersey City and the Hudson River right here. And as you can see, I wanted it to look like sunrise or sunset as well. This is the water. Um, so you can make shapes to create your buildings um, or you could, instead of using geometric shapes to show uh, houses or buildings in the city, you could use biomorphic shapes. You could draw trees. I have a bench. Here is the land, right? So everything that is blackened in is the silhouette. You say again, silhouette. Excellent, okay. And um, here on the bottom is the water. And I have these zigzag lines here and they're indicating a reflection of whatever objects I am drawing here in my silhouette. So um, in this one, I also have two trees, but I added some interesting details. 
Um, I have a, a boy here um, with a dog. I have a girl sitting on a swing. Um, I have two trees again, and I have some land. And so this would indicate the sky here in the background. In the middle ground, I have our land. And then here, I am repeating these same colors, but flip-flopping the order. And this is, um, this is the reflection of that sunlight on the water, okay? So I thought maybe we could create our own silhouette. So today, we are going to be responsible for just the blackened silhouette, okay? Not the colorful uh, background. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper and a pencil to start off. And I'm gonna put my page up here. And you can orient or hold the paper in any direction that you like. So uh, it could be horizontal or it could be vertical. You can choose whatever you like. Um, I guess, I think I'm gonna make this one vertical, but Please remember, this is your artwork. If you're drawing along with me, um, I'm going to try to make this one larger. That's why I put my paper vertically so that my image and my silhouette could be larger. If I hold it horizontally, everything becomes a little bit smaller scale, right? So um, I'm going to make this one vertical and you can add whatever elements you would like for your silhouette. That means you can draw a picture of whatever you like. So here is my pencil. I'm gonna pull you a little bit closer so that you can see my page. And I'm going to start by making a horizontal line here to indicate where my land meets the water, okay? So I'm gonna go a little bit below middle ground. Here's middle ground. I'm gonna jump down here below and I'm going to make a horizontal line, not perfectly straight because that's land, okay? And um, here, I'll draw it in marker so you can see my line from far away. I'll trace it. And you can do the same. You can make your lines in pencil first and then we can trace. And the only thing that is important for this week, boys and girls, is that you're going to use black because the silhouettes are black. You can only use a black permanent marker like a Sharpie or you may use a black crayon, okay? Or it could be a color pencil too. I'm sorry, it could be a color pencil as well. Um, but it can't be anything, if it's a marker, it can't be like a Crayola marker, okay? It has to be a permanent marker like a Sharpie, okay? And so now I'm gonna jump above here and somewhere here, a little, a little space, I'm going to make another horizontal, kind of curved, slightly curved line and that is going to be the top of the land. And I'm going to trace it just so that you can see it clearly. Okay, so all I did was draw two lines, right? Okay, and now I can add whatever elements I want. Um, let's see, maybe I want to draw a person. I'm gonna draw a person first. Okay, so I'm going to start somewhere here and I'm going to make an oval. That's going to be my person's face, their head. And then I'm going to put a little square right underneath. So what I'm doing is I'm using geometric shapes and I am piecing together a person. So an oval, then a square, then right below that square, I'm going to draw a rectangle. That's going to be their shirt. Okay. And I'm going to give them um, like a, a sideways V 
leg. Like an arrow. Like that. And this one's going to come down straight. And I'm going to make a little bit of a an oval foot. Okay? Okay. And then here I'm going to make a V arm. A letter V coming off of my rectangle, another letter V below it. So let me show you really close up what I just did. I just made an oval, a small square below that. Then I connected a rectangle below that square. Then I made a, like an arrow leg. This leg I made straighter, like a rectangle, right? And then I can make an oval foot or an oval shoe. I'm so proud of you already, boys and girls. And now here I have a letter V from the top corner of my rectangle and then another letter V underneath it, and then connect. And then, um, I don't know, what is this hand gonna be doing? This hand's gonna come down like this, like an arrow also, and connect. Now it looks like my person might be walking, right? Okay, and um, what we do is we leave all of these areas, I can make a circle hand. Leave everything just like that. With a silhouette, boys and girls, we don't add any details. So here's like a, an oval hand, an oval hand. Um, I can put a letter C and a backward C for ears if I want to. But I'm not going to add any details in the face. Nope, no nose. No eyes, no mouth, nothing. You know why? Because it's a silhouette, yes. And it's going to be what color? Black, yes. So we are going to color in our whole image of a person in black, the whole thing. So I'm going to take my marker, which is a permanent marker, and I'm going to color in all of these shapes that I've just drawn and I'm going to make them black because they are not receiving light. Here's the arm, the hand, here's the other arm, the hand, and now it looks like a person, right? Walking. Um, we're also going to color in all of the land here. So all of this land is going to be filled in black. No details, no flowers, no visual texture showing grass. All of the things that we normally focus on in our drawings, boys and girls, and I tell you to add all of the details to make it your own, we are not doing in our silhouette. The only thing that we do is we create that outline. The outline tells us, gives us the information about what the image is. We can tell that's not an animal. That's supposed to be a person. So we have a person walking here on the land next to the river. Maybe they're at Liberty State Park, right? I don't know, but we're going to color all of this land in black. And if you don't have a permanent black marker, you can simply use a crayon or you can use a color pencil, right? Um, just so long as it's black. And let's say that I want to add, I mean, you could add whatever you want. A lot of people add birds in the sky and they show it with two curved little lines, right? We do that since we're little in kindergarten. So that is also a silhouette of the birds. Um, maybe this person is, I don't know, um, 
Should we make somebody sitting on a swing? Should we make a dog? I don't know. Let's make a dog. I'm going to I'm going to make a circle. And then I'm going to draw an oval on this side. That way it looks like the dog is following the person, right? So all I did was make a circle like this. An oval right here. So we're connecting shapes. And I'm gonna give him some rectangular legs. And a shorter rectangular leg in the back. And a tail, however I wanna make that tail. And some ears. Maybe they're gonna be pointy ears. Because if I made floppy ears here, you wouldn't see them because it's a silhouette. So I have to make them pointed up so that we can see that outline. And maybe this dog's snout comes out. Maybe I make a backward C and remember to color it all in. So we're not worried about showing the nose or the eyes or the fur, right? That is not the purpose of this lesson. The purpose of the lesson is to understand the idea or the concept of a silhouette. You say again, silhouette. I am so proud of you. Okay, so there's my dog, even though it doesn't look quite right, but you know, you can tell it's an animal, right? So you can do all of this in your marker or I would suggest doing it in pencil first. And basically it's a pencil drawing that you color black, right? So I can make my dog here, draw his ears, backwards C snout, a little nose, the tail. See how I'm drawing all of this? I drew it in pencil, right? But now I simply color it in my marker, like this. Color it all in. There we go. Now it is a silhouette of an animal. You can tell that this is not a person walking with the other person. You understand that, oh, this is an animal that's following this guy, right? Okay. And so I continue to add some more elements to my piece. Do I want to show um, a park bench? Do I want to put another person here? A fence? Um, a garbage can? Maybe you're not at the park. Maybe you're at your house. I don't know. Um, you could add anything that you would like there to be. Um, maybe it's a tree. Maybe I'm going to make a, a capital letter Y tree, right? Like we have in the past. And then I'm going to double up my line, right? Not one vertical line, but another second vertical line. And that way, normally when we would color this space in between in brown, now we're going to color it in black. So I'm going to color this space black to create that silhouette, right? Okay, now I'm going to build and add on to my branches. The top part of your letter Y, you're going to come up and back in and color that space in between. Right? Now it's starting to look more like a tree and I add some smaller branches. And I'm doing this right with the marker. If you feel confident enough to do that with the marker, that's great. If not, draw it in pencil. And then you can go back and you can simply color it all in with whatever black medium you're using. And now, that I have something that looks like a tree. 
with smaller branches. Now I can maybe add another person. I could add a swing with someone sitting in it like I did here. This one is just much, much, much smaller, right? Can you see the girl with the ponytails? Okay, so I can do that. I'm also still trying to fill this in right here. And the only thing that you are responsible for doing this week, boys and girls, is to draw your silhouette. Whatever it is that you would like to show. Maybe it's you and a friend or a family member and you're at the park and you're throwing a football or you're roller skating um, at the park. Whatever it is that you're doing, please show a silhouette of you, right? A silhouette of yourself doing something somewhere, right? Um, maybe, maybe this is a football. Maybe I'm going to put a football in this guy's hand and he's going to be tossing it and throwing it with his dog. And maybe his dog is going to play fetch with the football. Um, and maybe I can have a person sitting on a swing. I don't know. I'm going to draw a swing. Ready? Let's see how this goes. There's a horizontal line. Now I connect with a vertical line, connect it to my tree branch. Another vertical line connected to my tree branch, right? And then I put a person in here. I'm gonna start again with an oval, again with a small square, again a rectangle shirt, and then I have some legs here and some oval shoes, right? And I need a letter V arm, a letter V arm touching the rope on either side. Now when I color this in, this is what happens. I am now creating a silhouette. Let me just take this sheet out of here. Okay. So now I've made another person and I'm coloring my whole person in my black marker. The shoes, the legs, the shirt, every single part. I'm gonna put a little oval here for a hand, another oval here for a hand, right? And I can't forget the swing. The swing has to be colored in black as well. Okay, and so here, boys and girls, is my silhouette of two people at the park. Um, we have to give them some ears, maybe some curly hair up here, Right? Um, maybe this person has straight hair. I don't know. Okay. Two people at the park with their pet. And there is my silhouette. Now, do you have to draw this? Absolutely not. If you would like to draw a silhouette of the city instead, all you need to do is draw shapes. I'll show you here. I'll put these on the attachments so that you can see, um, but you can hold your paper again, either direction, they, it can be vertical or it could be horizontal. And then you're gonna start with your line across the bottom, just below middle ground and then another horizontal line, not perfectly straight, in the middle ground as well. And then some buildings. I'm just gonna make a rectangle. Then maybe I'll make a square next to that one. Maybe I'll leave a little space. Leave a little space. Maybe come up a little bit taller than this building 
and have a pointy roof line and then come straight back down right starting to look like a bunch of buildings next to one another maybe this one comes like this and down like a capital letter l and then maybe down again right i don't know uh, maybe this one is curved it has a curved top and then comes down okay um and a shorter one just to finish this off a little bit shorter or pointy maybe that's a house yes okay if you want to add windows add some squares or some rectangles for your windows and please notice that the windows do not get colored in black. Your windows will be colored a different color showing that the lights are on, right? Because if the sun is setting and it's going down, then people would turn their lights on in their homes or their office buildings, right? So these get colored in in yellow or orange or white, whatever color you like. Okay, so I'm going to draw a bunch of rectangles and squares. Maybe this building has square uh, windows and this building has tall rectangle windows. So all I'm doing is drawing geometric shapes, right boys and girls? And you can do it in pencil like this if you want to. And then you can trace in your black, either permanent marker or in your black crayon or whatever black material you're using, right? And then after you're done with all of the windows, color the buildings black. and leave the windows blank. And take your time. I'm excited to see what you come up with for your silhouettes, boys and girls. Remember, they could be anything. It could be an airplane in the sky, uh, a hot air balloon in the sky. Um, you can add anything you like. Um, this could be a street. You could show cars right? Silhouettes of cars. Um, oh, or it could be something, um, not imaginary, but it could be something like dinosaurs walking along the park here, right? You could make something that used to exist and now it does not, but it could be a silhouette of absolutely anything that you choose. And that's what makes it fun to do, right? Okay, so that building is done. And then I move on to this building. And do you have to make windows on every building? No, but I do think that every building has windows, right? Just like it has doors. So, um, yeah. And that's about it, boys and girls. After I color it all in, I color every single building and all of the land. So all of this space would also get colored in black, just like we did it with the park, okay? And remember, this portion of your page will be sky and this portion of your page will be water and we add the color next week, okay? So please um, remember to have fun and um, create whatever images you'd like, but you are creating silhouettes. You say silhouette, very good. And that is just the outline of a black image, right? Whether it's a person, a place, or a thing, it is only to be done in black to create that silhouette and that look of not receiving any light on this side. It is backlit, 
which means the light is coming from the opposite side and lighting up the back of these buildings or the back of these trees or the back of this bench, okay? So I will put these on the attachments and therefore, if you'd like to um, draw from these and then add on, you can do that, or you can come up with your whole um, original idea, which I totally welcome and is really exciting for me to view. Okay, so I'm super proud of you, and uh, thank you for joining me um, again, okay? So I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.